Hello there, collaborators. Oh, I forgot to make horns. Horns! I made horns. Okay. So, um, this is going to be like a two-part video. Two parts. The first part has to do with thrift store shopping. So I put this on top of the other day. I don't know if anyone saw it. But, er, earlier today. Or yesterday. I don't know when this is going to actually get uploaded. But this, oh, is a thing that I bought in the thrift store. It has a warmer, and you can fill it with tea, and it has this thing, which you can fill with ice, and then you can make delicious lemonade or something. It's great. It's two pieces. See? Stand. Pitcher. It's really cool. It's exciting. And I got some other things uh, while I was out shopping, and um, I'm turning 21 in a couple of months, like two months. So I bought super classy shot glasses with little stems on the bottom. Because they're really, the stems just make them classy. So I'm really happy about that. And then I bought this. Um, you may have heard that I like tea. And I found this for $3. And it's just a framed picture of a teacup. And it's really cute. So that's... That's the first thing I wanted to discuss, was um, three fun little things that I found at the thrift store. I bought clothes and other stuff, too, but not as fun, so. Then I wanted to talk about journals. I am an obsessive journaler, and I have six journals to show you and kind of tell you about, um, because I thought it would be cool, so. Um, this one... It's just pretty, and it's just a plain and average, you know, daily sort of journal thing. You just write stuff in it. Um, that one's not very exciting, honestly. Um, but the most exciting part of it is I have inkwells like this. And I bought a quill from Barnes & Noble. Best thing I ever bought from Barnes & Noble, by the way. It's terrible bookstore. Um, but, and it's for dipping and writing and dipping and writing. And I like it a lot. So, that's, I use them mostly in that journal. Um, because I feel like this journal's fancy enough to be written with a quill. <laughs> so, um, then, my next favorite journal. This one I'm kind of done with, but this one I was Harry Potter. This one I was writing in, um, it's got, like, uh, week, days of the week in it and stuff. It's from 2011, and, um, halfway through the year, I started writing, like, little quotes of just things that I had said, or things that a friend had said. Um, this one says, candy is my favorite food group. This one says, oh, that's right, there are two twins. Just silly little things that I had written in there. Um, just funny things and silly little quotes. Um, speaking of quotes, I have an entire journal. This is the before Christmas. That's just dedicated to quotes. Um, this is other people's quotes. This is, like, severely unfinished. I plan to go through all of my Harry Potter books and take the quotes out of them methodically. I plan to go through my John Green books and put the quotes from them in here. Also, my David Levinson books, like, I have to, like, meticulously find all the quotes. Um, I've already done it with one of my favorite books, Kamikaze Girls. I've already taken the quotes out of them, actually. If you go on my Tumblr, the quote at the top that I have instead of a description, um, even if something is made just for laughs, if you find it pleasing, it has value, that's from Kamikaze Girls. Um, so, that's where that came from. Also, you know, it's just full of things. It's just full of quotes. I'm really big, like, quote for. I guess. Okay. Um, then I have this one. Skill animals. Also severely unfinished. Um, this is kind of a collage art journal. Um, and this just has, like, things stuck in it and some coloring. And this is only the first page has been done because I started it, like, literally very recently. Um, and it was supposed to be part of an ongoing project on a blog. And the blogger never continued it. So I'm just going to continue it myself. I have, like, pages to do, so I'm just going to do it myself. 
this one is a binder, and this just has like spiritual kind of things in it. It's not really very, not really something I want to share with anyone, actually. Sorry. Um, and then this one is my most important journal. This is the journal that I share most via the internet outside of the frame. Um, and it's my Moments of Words Poetry Journal. Um, basically the idea behind it is I was watching a video, um, I think it's an Alice Day video, where he's talking about never forgetting how it feels to be able to do whatever you want, or forgetting how something in particular feels, and never moving on from something, and forgetting that you've ever felt that way. Um, so this is just basically just, I'm not allowed to edit them, which... I'm like a chronic editor, like to the point where I write things and then I'm like, oh that's terrible, I hate it, and I edit it, and then I'm like, oh it's still terrible and I delete it all. So <laughs> that's my major flaw as a writer, is I delete everything I ever write. This journal is about never deleting anything that you ever write. It's just about, um, just stream of consciousness, just write it, and then however it comes out, it comes out. And then I put it on my blog which I think is Moments and Words Poetry at Tumblr.com. I don't, at dot Tumblr.com. I don't know where to put it down there. Um, but, yes, that was my video. We didn't have a topic, so I hope it's okay that I just made one up. Bye.